All right, here we are, 4513 South Town T, New Orleans, and Broadmoor. Great subdivision. Here's a street view of all the renovated houses in the, on the street. Uh, we're about a block and a half east of Napoleon. We're going to take a look at the exterior of the building, starting with the uh, right side of the building. Broadmoor has come back very strongly. All the neighbors really bound together after Katrina to get all the, the neighborhood houses uh, back and renovated, as we can see from that street scene. Here's the back of the uh, building. All the exterior siding uh, appears to be serviceable. This is the uh, neighbors are uh, behind uh, the subject property, more renovated properties in gorgeous condition. Here's the left side of the building along the um, the back. Okay, here we are on the other side of the fence, still on the left side of the building. That's a, a, a entry to the uh, basement. I think the tires belong to the neighbor. Electrical boxes. Here along the front of the building, the porch on the left side um, is missing, so that's the door to the second floor up there. The porch on the right side is still there. Okay, let's go upstairs. This is a view from the the porch down the street. And let's go inside. Uh, the first room here, the living room, uh, has not been gutted. There is um, some ceiling damage, and I'll show you why. Here in the second room in the parlor uh, has been gutted, uh, including the, um, the ceiling. And as you can see, the roof um, has some damage and you can see straight through to the sky. It looks like the left side roof uh, has sustained more damage. In the attic you see a couple of AC units and a chimney. There is a fireplace in the uh, parlor. The next room down is a kitchen. There's a gas fixture there and some drainage. The next spot uh, down is uh, stairs going downstairs. We'll take a look at that in one minute. This is a bedroom. Um, upstairs on the right side is a two bedroom, one full bath. Uh, identical to the left side of the building, but we'll take a look at that also. A little bit further down on the right side is uh, a bathroom. The bathroom has not been gutted. However, uh, due to the stealing damage, you see the debris that's on the floor in the bathroom. And the last room on the right side is another bedroom. Okay, we're going to take a look at, um, let's go downstairs. Okay, downstairs uh, has been gutted also. This is the area, obviously, that flooded, probably sustained a few feet of water. A lot of it's been gutted. There is uh, some plumbing fixtures. There's an exterior door to the right side. Again, I'm downstairs on the right side. Uh, there is a, looks like a kitchen that was down here. Uh, some finished flooring and the back door. That's the back door to the, the back right side of the uh, of the structure. This is moving toward the front of the building. I'm going underneath the stairs here into the large uh, front room. This has been gutted.
it's all gutted. That's the very front wall of the uh, of the structure, to the, to the very front of the building. That's the front right wall downstairs. The ceiling here um, has been uh, removed. Okay, now moving into the left side downstairs. Again, this is a raised basement type of building. That's the uh, front door on the left side downstairs. Uh, the raised basement um, type of structures, there's two bedroom, one bath on each side upstairs. Originally it was built as a double. But like I said, two bedroom and one bath uh, on each side upstairs. And then downstairs was typically used, like this room may have been a garage. Well, and in New Orleans terms, called a raised basement. It's not really underground, but it is a basement. Some plumbing. Uh, here's some cedar closets. So apparently, even though this was a raised basement, it was finished off uh, for some living area. There um, has been gutted, and um, that's the exterior siding of the building. That's the left side of the building. Okay, moving further back on the left side, we have uh, a bathroom, it's a bathtub, toilet, a little bit of plumbing, and then um, it did rain this morning, uh, the morning that I took the video. Here's the last room on the left side, on the bottom. Again, here's another bathroom with a stand-up shower. let's go upstairs go upstairs on the left side a little bit of debris on the uh, stairs here okay upstairs on the left side again another two bedroom bath uh, two bedroom one bath up here there's a little bit of soft flooring right there it's the only spot that I, I felt um, you have to be very careful let's go toward the front start by the front door okay this is a living room this room has been gutted and if we look out the front door here we can see that's the the missing porch to give you a point of reference okay this room has been fully gutted including the ceiling again you can see up into the roof uh, straight to the sky I think I raised my camera here to get another view of the attic Another 360 of the attic. Okay. Moving into the uh, second room, the parlor. There is a um, fireplace here. Also backs up to the fireplace on the other side. Nice arch to the walkway. And some uh, identical to the other side, there's a kitchen here. The third room on the left side is a kitchen. It's uh, symmetrical. Stairs, uh, a bedroom. There's a closet there. Again, this is symmetrical in layout to the um, to the right side. There's an AC unit. And then there's a bathroom. This one's been more fully gutted than the uh, than the right side. And finally, the back bedroom on the left side. Okay, that was a wonderful opportunity in Broadmoor, a neighborhood that has mostly come back. If you want comparables to show the after renovation value, just contact me. My name is Ron Mazier. You can call me at 504-309-1700 or email me broker at ronmazier.com or check my website, ronmazier.com. Thank you very much.